Hi, I'm Craig Takuchi from the Georgia Strait. And last week I attended Winter Pride at uh, Whistler, which is Whistler's LGBT Ski Week, which ran from January 26th to February the 2nd. And um, Pride Week was officially um, proclaimed by the mayor on January 30th. And the day after, they had a Pride Parade, which actually uh, went down the slopes and into the village. And um, the importance of this uh, parade is particularly um, significant this year because it happened just prior to the Sochi Winter Olympics, which starts on February the 7th. And uh, Whistler was the first uh, was the first place where Pride House uh, was created at uh, the Olympics. And as you might already know, uh, there's been a lot of controversy about Sochi and um, Russian anti-gay legislation. So there isn't going to be a Pride House this year at the Olympics. Um, but there's been a lot of um, uh, protests about that, including um, across Canada. And uh, many Canadian cities are actually now flying the rainbow flag at um, at city halls um, across Canada, with the exception of Toronto, because Rob Ford um, vetoed that. Um, in the meantime, um, getting back to Winter Pride, um, uh, the Mr. Gay Canada contest was held on. Um, it was a three-day competition, and at the end of the competition. The winner was Christopher Wee of Coquitlam. Um, he's the first Chinese Canadian to win the title. And um, he was born in Singapore to ethnic Chinese parents from Malaysia and Singapore. And he's had a background of teaching as well as modeling and acting in Asia in places like Hong Kong and Taiwan. And he said that his experience of being a, a role, uh, sorry, his experience of being a, a celebrity in Asia has really helped him to um, learn how to become a role model uh, for youth, uh, even more so than as a teacher, because he said he he was in the public eye. Um, he didn't expect to win, but. Um, when he did win, and when he started to receive a lot of response from people across Asia, voicing their support and telling him that they saw him as representative of Asians and that they saw him also as, as their voice, um, he said he started to feel the responsibility and he wants to continue to help out uh, youth um, in schools particularly working with organizations like Out in Schools, um, the Pride Education Network, and to try and help um, organizations like Gay and Gay Straight Alliances in schools, because he feels it helps all students, not just gay students. Um, he says that he feels it helps people learn how to relate to different types of people and um, helps us all overall. After this competition, he will go on to compete in the Mr. Gay World Competition. Thanks very much.